have these this there's really these high virtual highly virtual guys trying to split down and to try to lead uh, lead to lower lower virtualities there is you can have collisions between the these uh, hard particles in the quark gluon plasma but mostly where the main dom the dominant effect is is splitting or radiation rather okay now if you go into once you enter into the low virtuality uh, region then of course you shut off the phase space for uh, extra radiation and uh, then you enter essentially mostly a scattering dominated uh, uh, a region now you can still radiate uh, in this lower virtuality region because uh, scattering can sometimes uh, promote the virtuality of the of the parton so you can gain virtuality by 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 this process so you can still radiate a little bit okay but you're mostly going to be dominated by what, what is happening uh, uh, in terms of scatterings with the quark gluon plasma. Okay, and of course, once you really enter into the low energy, low virtuality section, then 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 you know you need to start to worry about hydronization and 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 uh, in the Jetscape framework for, uh, for the time being. Or actually, no, in the Jetscape framework, you have two so sorts of hydronization, right? You can either let Pythia do this, or the, the, there are actual modules in the in the Jetscape framework. Uh, that deal with, with recombination, for instance, and, and hydronization from recombination. Now, I will not be talking about them today, but uh, just wanted to let you know that they actually do exist uh, in the Jetscape framework. But for the purposes of today, uh, the hydronization is going to be taken care of by Pythia. Okay. So once, once you're done with the evolution of matter and, 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 and LDT Martini, which I will talk about a little bit later, you essentially hand over those spartons onto uh, Pythia. Okay? Now, the, the, the key advantage of the Jetscape framework is that um, it actually allows uh, for these different physics mechanisms, so the, the evolution at high virtuality and the evolution at low virtuality, to actually talk to one another. And really, the Jetscape framework keeps track of all the partons present in the shower on a parton by parton level. Okay? And essentially, as soon as a parton essentially uh, uh, enters into a, a virtuality regime where uh, we, you essentially have decided that you're going to hand that over to, to uh, LBT and Martini, from matter to LBT and Martini, then the framework can take only that part on and transfer it over to, for the next stage of evolution. Okay? So this is actually really, really nice. You can, you, uh, uh, on a part on by part on level, basically, you can deal with uh, the entire shower development. Okay. So here is the sort of the, the, the overall free, the, the, the Jetscape framework. And the portion that we're gonna be focusing on today is here on the top, whereas Chun essentially focused on what was happening here in the bottom. So on the top, we start with uh, uh, Apithia that essentially is going to give us the hard partons that we start off of. Then these partons are of course gonna be high energy, high virtuality. They're gonna be picked up by matter. And after the virtuality essentially has been lost, but you're still at relatively high energy, you're gonna hand them over to uh, uh, Martini or LBT. Now, as already mentioned, you can uh, you can also collide with partons in the in the in the in the medium, and that can lead to either gain or loss. Okay, so you can you can lose a parton in your uh, you know in your uh, matter or Martini shower to uh, the medium. Okay, or you can extract partons from the medium, and that's essentially where Yasuki uh, right after me is going to be talking about how do you deal with gaining and losing partons in the shower. Uh, and communicating because energy momentum, of course, has to be conserved. Communicating that information onto the hydro source. Okay, so you're presenting with sources and six on the hydro side. Okay. okay. Um, yes. Maybe now is is now a good time to go through like a couple of questions that were just asked. Yeah. Uh, so uh, Yuri Kapenko asked, "What is the prescription for the lifetime?" of a high Q squared parton before it splits? Or you know, what is the expression? How do you get the lifetime of a high Q squared parton before it splits in Jetscape? Uh, so it well, it would be one over the rate, basically. But the, the, the way that we, I will discuss about that a little bit later. Basically, what you do is you take uh, scattering rates or, or emission rates, OK? And uh, if, you, if you take a small enough uh, uh, delta t, so sort of like a time step in which you uh, want to evolve these rates in, so you want to, then basically uh, the, the rate times, the small time steps uh, essentially acts like a probability. Okay, so I will explain how, how we end up, I will explain first what the rates are, and then I will also explain how to essentially turn them into probabilities and, and uh, um, already as, and then essentially in, in that sense, you can ask the question, okay, if I have a parton that, that is highly virtual that enters in here, okay, 
uh, what is the probability of it decaying? Okay, and then you draw a random number, you compare it to that probability, and if the random number is smaller than that probability, then it decays, right? That's, that's, that's how we're gonna do it. Okay, uh, um, um, I think some of them have now sort of more or less been answered. Uh, maybe this one. So in Jetscape, the, they switch the energy loss model depending on the energy scale. If so, is there an explicit boundary? Yes. Yes, so it's really uh, what, we, what we have really is a, is a virtuality scale. So uh, we allow the, the, the matter uh, evolution to run down to uh, a virtuality of about, well, we changed it really. We, we explored anything from one to three GeV. So the, the Q is one to three GeV, so you have to square that. So that's four, that's, that's one to nine GeV in terms of Q squared, in GeV squared, okay? So that's sort of like a free parameter and um, that, that essentially is a tuning parameter. So you can look at your jet observables or, or your leading hadron observables, like leading hadron RAA, which I will talk about a little bit later. And you can use that, uh, uh, that, that observable as a tune to figure out at, at which uh, virtuality scale do you want to switch over. Okay, uh, the rest now just came in and is a bit detailed. So I will let you go on and we can address okay. them also 